and welcome to Animation Essentials. I'm Rachel Neighbors. Today you're going to learn all about CSS animations and transitions, and I'm going to be here to guide you 100% of the way. You'll be working with interactive projects on CodePen, and you'll get to see how you can use the browser's developer tools to better make animations and transitions for your everyday projects at work and for fun. A little background information on me. I've worked on some pretty cool projects from DevTools Challenger with Firefox to interactive stories with Adobe Inspire. I even help clients bring animation to their motion design systems and interface designs. I also run Web Animation Weekly, an excellent newsletter on all the comings and goings in this bustling space. I highly recommend you subscribe to it. So today we're going to learn about CSS transitions, CSS animations, sequencing animations, how to design performant animations, and some handy browser tools for working with them. All of these exercises use jQuery. I could have used plain old JavaScript, but jQuery syntax is known very widely, and I thought it would make more sense for us to be focusing on the CSS and worrying less about how to do things that might seem new in JavaScript. We'll also be using Prefix Free. Now, Prefix Free is a little JavaScript library that helps add prefixes to unprefixed CSS. Vendor prefixes are kind of a pain in the butt to handle, and I didn't want you to be focusing on what things were vendor prefixed and what things weren't. With Prefix Free, you can just write the things without dash WebKit dash, and it will automatically work correctly in whatever browser you're using. I should also mention that I do not recommend using Prefix Free for production work. You should really be using something like Auto Prefixer or something in your development pipeline that adds those prefixes on the fly for you. We'll also be using CodePen. CodePen is a wonderful site that lets you write CSS, JavaScript, and HTML and view the changes in the browser updated live. It's a really great way for sharing code and doing demos like these. This way I can share all my code with you and you can practice in the browser without having to download a bunch of extraneous files. I used to be a cartoonist long before I was a web developer. It was sometime after I joined web development that I realized, hey, my cartooning skills also can be pretty useful when it comes to communicating things or building interactive experiences or even teaching people. So you might notice that there are a couple of illustrations. This little guy used to co-star in my comics. His name is Tuna. And now he doesn't star in comics so much as he stars in demos and slides like these. He'll be our teacher's assistant today and will be helping us learn more about these wonderful things called CSS animations and transitions. Let's get started. 